Well, yeah, so um, happy Mother's Day. Yeah. Happy May Day. Congratulations, graduate. And we'll see you next month. And tomorrow night. And do the even night. Okay. Okay. Aloha. Aloha. For this month on Senior Grinds, we feature Hilo's only hot dog house. No kidding. It's a real fun place to eat and very inexpensive. It's called Big Island Top Dogs. You gotta come here and try it. Oh, it's an exciting day, man. I got Robin, I got Mike. Hey, these guys there, they look real super young. It must be because Big Island Top Dog is a fun place and the food must be. Mm. Hey, let me go check them out. Wow, Robin, what is this? Okay, so we have the Patele dog. It's a Patele wow. sausage, locally made on a waffle. Okay, sausage. Yeah. We but. make a homemade um, Patele sauce that we put on top, wow. or you can choose whatever you want. Wow, Patele dog. Mm. Oh, mm. Mm. oh, hey, this burger is really old, man. Hey. Tastes like a real patel. Oh, tastes like patel. It has the pork, the mm. masa, the green mm. banana, cilantro, mm. green onions. Oh! <laughs> Broken. Oh! <laughs> it's so honored. Hey, you guys all should try the patel. Oh, yeah, what well, we got next? This one is the gyoza sausage. And that gyoza. one is. A, yeah, gyoza. Oh! <laughs> The gyoza has the gyoza sauce, which we make, and we're known for our um, specialty sausages. Uh, okay. And homemade sauerkraut. Oh! Oh! Wow! Oh! Man, it's so good! Gonna be like a homemade sauerkraut, not like the one in a can. Okay, gyoza dog. Gyoza dog. And how's the gyoza sauce? Yeah, I did just use it. And sweet, uh, the pickled onions okay. on top. Okay, with a sweet bun for punalu. punalu. Yeah. yeah, and we use punalu sweet bread bun. Mmm! Oh! 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 You know, you know, you know, even the sauce is so unreal. Yeah, you do. I feel like I'm in Japan. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit! Mmm! Mmm! Wow! Woo! Good! Now what is this? So this one is the kimchi sausage. Mm. So all the kimchi is chopped up inside the pork sausage. Oh. And that is also a kukui sausage. Wow! And then we do a um, garlic aioli on it. And then more kimchi and homemade pickle onions. Wow! So we have the Puerto Rican, we have the Japanese, and now we have the Korean. Yep. Oh, yeah? yeah? Okay. Bon appetit. Kimchi hot dog. Mm. Mm. Wow, you know, the hot dog, the sauce, and the, the kimchi red chef, they like marrying each other, right? Oh, it's just good, so good together. Especially with the sweet bite. Mm. <laughs> you get anything a hot dog right away, you know? Yep, and then we do hot dogs, we have burger, Angus burger, we have. Um, salmon burgers, and we have baked potatoes, chili cheese nachos, and same thing, you can top it however you want. I know, There's you guys have all kinds of stuff, to right? Not only hot dog, right? Yeah. And by the way, on Sundays, you're at Makuhu Market, right? Yep, we're at Makuhu Market. Uh. That's where we started four years uh, ago. Uh. We started off just for fun, and it grew into a family. So, so what, is, what is this? That is our chili cheese nachos with, I think they put sour cream and chai. Mm. You can put jalapenos, you can put tomato, mm. onions, whatever you want. Mm. Some people even put mm. the sauerkraut. Ole! Oh, <laughs> oh, no. Yeah? Oh, Robin, you do good, you. Oh, thank you. And what is this? That one is the baked potato. Oh, you guys have baked potato? Yeah, baked potato, and you can put whatever you want. You can put bacon, they put bacon, sour cream, and cheese for you. Yeah, I see the but bacon you can there. Put broccoli, uh, mushrooms, 
We even have crazy toppings like uh, Captain Crunch, Arare. Nah. We have a homemade wasabi furakaki sauce. That's oh, you really guys, nice with you, you guys too the good. salmon. So anything and anywhere the customer want them, yep, you no got them. Rules. No rules, no whatever. And no judging. And even the way you eat, you can <laughs> eat whatever way you want. Mm. <laughs> mm. Hey, you know what, Robin? What's your hours? We're open Monday through Friday, uh -huh. 10 to 4, and then Saturday, 10 to 3. And, and then Sunday, Sunday, you're at Makuu yep, Market. We're at Makuu Market, that's where all the fun is, too. And I tell you what, I can see that this is like a fantastic family place. You have your nieces, right? You have your, your, your grandchildren, and you have everybody over there. One big fun family operation. Yeah. Oh yeah, here's the next generation. You know what? 20 years from now, they'll be right, probably running the place over there. Yeah? So, um, what's your name and what's your favorite? My name is Taylor Moses, and I like the Angus Burger. Wow, what school you go to? Kyoka. Oh, Kyoka Elementary, my favorite school. And your name and what do you like the best? Kiki, I like the Portuguese sausage. Portuguese sausage, what school do you go to? Waikia Waina. Waikia Waina, another favorite school. And? My name's Jason and I like the Angus Burger. Wow, and what school do you go to? Hilo Inter. Oh man, you see? Yeah? Fun, 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 all different schools. Everybody happy over here. You come on down because our food is mm. yeah, awesome. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? I like meet your husband. Oh, this is my. I told you He's guys, man, man I'm good plan. looking. Man with the plan. My idol. Oh, my idol. I die, you. Eric, <laughs> we have a surprise for you. Oh, a surprise for me. Okay, let's see what it is here. Yeah. We already love chorizo. Oh, <laughs> this is my favorite, a chorizo dog, right? Chorizo, what kind of sauce is this? That's a garlic aioli. Oh. We kept it simple for you. Oh, okay, here you go. You know, my last name is Chorizo, so chorizo is kind of like close. <laughs> that. Maybe that's why I like chorizo. <laughs> <laughs> This is a winner. The texture, the flavor, the, the, the great sauce on top, the buns, the people. Oh, man. <laughs> fun, fun, fun. Hey, top dog is top dog. Yeah. Thank you. Hey, that's yeah. a mean top we dog. Have lots with. of fun mm. here. Yeah. Oh, this is good. And this is just a few of the items we have. There's got to be a million ways to top a dog. Oh, yeah. Mmm! Mmm! <laughs> Good night. Say something. Aloha, Hilo. Thank you for supporting Big Island Top Dogs for the past year. We look forward to serving you for <laughs> many, many more years. Aloha. Okay. Okay, you know, they get all kinds of dogs, all kinds of stuff to eat. Come down here for lunch. You can take out, eat take here. Out, pick up, call in. You can call in and get your order ready and. And you know what? I'm sure if they want to have a hot dog party, you guys will be there and serve them. Right? We can work it out. Yeah. We even have beautiful girls that will help serve hey, at girl. your hot dog yeah. party. Yeah, and Rachel. You see? Yeah, yeah, and Rachel. Yeah. Yeah. And I might even be there eating too. Okay? We can invite you to the <laughs> <laughs> So, Mike, where are you located at? We're at 811 Laotapu Street corner of Lanikawa and Laokapu, next to affordable catering and Sweet Thunder products. Yeah, again, come on down to Big Island Top Dog. The food here is... Aloha, aloha, aloha! Hi, my name is Jeremiah Kan, and I'm a volunteer with the Rat Long Worm Working Group with the University of Hawaii at Hilo and we have been asked to provide some more educational videos especially on food preparation, washing our veggies, leafy greens, heads of cabbages and we're going to go right ahead and start to process them. The very first thing we want to do is to check. We always want to check our vegetables very well before we actually go to the washing process. We don't want to miss anything. I'm going to peel every stalk of this celery off and I'm going to look 
for any critters, anything, dirt, anything that might um, be uh, suspect. If I find anything suspect, I will cut it off, trim it off, or discard the piece entirely. So that is what I do for the celery. I will peel every single one down to the nub. For kale example, we have a bunch of kale. These were picked off of the kale plant. I'm going to examine each leaf, feeling, looking, and seeing if there's anything on here. Is it slimy? Is there any bugs, slugs, worms, anything? Red-headed lettuce. Yes. These all have a base. So things like to crawl down, gravity, flow down to the base. So I'm going to also, just like the celery, I'm going to peel off each individual leaf of lettuce. I'm going to look down inside of them for anything that is possible. And I'm feeling. This is the very most important part. So I'm doing the same for that and the same for this other type of green, leafy green. Same action. I would peel every single one. Now, we all like cabbage, all right? I like a uh, cooked cabbage. Some people like coleslaw. So how do we clean for either case? I am going to um, trim off any pieces that I feel I need to trim off. Okay, I'm going to quarter my piece. I'm going to remove the heart and all at the same time, I'm, I'm looking for any presence of any, any, any critters, anything. Okay, I'm going to peel off all of these hearts here. And then, so I'm going to shred how I would normally shred. Okay. We're running portable water is the best way to cleanse your vegetables. We have found that the action of running water helps greatly in cleansing because things might not fall off if you do not agitate your produce enough and rub in it. Rinse them off really good. And then I have my colander strainer action. I can shake them really good. I can now that we've cleaned the cabbage, we've rinsed it very well, it's ready to be cooked and eaten. These are the lettuces we have checked. We have not seen any, any critters, any slugs or worms, not so ever. I am now going to rinse them off under running water, running tap water, and I'm going to massage the leaves. Um, I don't have to have a lot of water, just smooth, and the water pressure itself really flushes off these greens. This one, I'm going to show you how I do it under the running water. And this is my clean container. So I just pay attention to my containers that are clean. Here we're going to rinse off and rub these leaves. And just feel them. I'm feeling for anything, anything slimy, anything gritty. We open them up and then I'm going to give them a real good shake off and then that's going to go into the clean collection container and the same thing I'm going to do with these other vegetables that I already checked oh yeah I have a bag of another lettuce over here. It came this way. I do not know that this water might or might not contain any contagion. I don't know. So I'm going to treat it carefully and I will remove the lettuce and wash that off and do the same check preparation and then keep this liquid away from anything that I'm doing. So I'm going to keep these separate, okay? And then do the same cleaning. We have produce like these. Same thing, we're going to rinse them off and these we can dry because these organisms need wet, uh, the rat lungworm need wet circumstances so the slugs and snail need to be moist so we're going to dry these off nice and clean for storage or for cooking. Tomatoes and capsicums, bell peppers, 
and I'm going to dry them off really well. And now that these are cleaned, set, put them in a separate location from the unprocessed produce. So the best thing to do when you come home from the market and get your fresh greens or from your garden or your neighbor's garden, that you prepare your foods before they even go in the fridge. So you're assured safely clean and washed foods. As always, when you cook your foods, your vegetables, you are going to um, take care of any parasites if there were any there. So that's as the final thing is we, we cook. Otherwise, you um, have preparations of salting, brining, dehydrating, or freezing. Some of you all like the green veggies and the smoothies, which are quite delicious. If there were any um, uh, animals on there, they would be frozen. The, uh, any parasites would be inactive and no longer a problem. So that is another form of um, cleansing uh, your vegetables and making them safe. So um, thank you. Thank you for uh, staying with me and uh, join. Aloha and welcome to Behind George Yoshida's Camera. First of all, George Yoshida and I want to thank you for making our island such a special place. People playing together, working together, and caring for others as one big family. I guess here is a place where people respect each other and will base their decisions on how it affect others. There are very few places in the world where people have this type of values. This month of May starts off with a very special day. May Day is Lay Day in Hawaii. As you know, a lei represents many meanings of aloha. Several of these are going well, hello, love, or joy. Although the lei lasts only a while, your thought will last forever. So in May, there are many reasons to wear and give a lei. Children's Day, Memorial Day, Graduation, and the most important, Mother's Day. At this time, we want to say Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers and grandmothers. We thank you for all your hard work and sacrifice you made to improve our lives and put a smile on our faces. Happy Mother's Day. Hey, guess what, man? I get this special girl with a special message to all the mothers out there. Hey, go ahead. Haoli la makua hine. Yeah, they say Happy, Happy Mother's, Mother's Day. Day. Aloha. Aloha. Hey, guess what? Look, look, look. Yeah, Rod over here, Rod. What are you doing, telling everyone out there? Happy Mother's Day. Oh, yeah, big chaka, big chaka. So here's the beautiful Lorraine Dion singing a Miley Lay for your hair. Man, I see Ronnie's cousin. Yeah. yeah. 